This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. That, that neck injury occurs. You defend the title against Del Rio at 27. You retire a week later. You're going to jump into the acting that we just talked about. And everyone always asks you how, how it felt to retire. I want to ask, how did your body feel once you retired? Um, I didn't realize how sore I was, honestly. Because when you're doing it night in, night out, you just kind of fall into this desensitized, like, you're, you're always kind of limping and you're always kind of bent over and you're always kind of like sideways or like the letter S, you know, as you walk, it just, <laughs> you get used to that. Right. Um, and it wasn't until I had the second neck surgery, which I didn't have until about 2012. And it was in Pittsburgh, Dr. Maroon. And I woke up in the hallway on the stretcher and Beth's standing there and she goes, how do you feel? I was like, I don't have a headache. Mm. I don't have a headache. And the thing about it is that I didn't realize I had a headache for like a decade. Oh God. <laughs> until it was gone. Right. And I went, oh my, oh my God. I felt like shit. <laughs> but, I did, <laughs> but I did, but I didn't fully grasp it until that, you know, because for however long, I don't even know, my pressure was being pinched, my, my, the, the pressure on my cord, my spinal cord is being pinched like a straw. Right. So I'm working Batista and I'm working Kane and I'm working Undertaker and I'm taking choke slams and power bombs and all of these things. And I didn't grasp it until that second surgery. And from that point forward, man, life got so much so much happier, you know, and, and Beth will remind me too. She was like, we'd be out for two hours and you'd have to go get flat. Like you'd have to go lay down and just take that, that weight and pressure off. Um, and then from that point forward, I'm acting right. And, uh, you know, I'd have to do stunt scenes here or there or whatever. And they'd always use the excuse that they couldn't find a stunt double for me. So I was like, okay, well, I'll do it. And, um, so it, I'd end up doing it and I'm like, I feel great. Like I'm driving people through walls. I'm like, uh, you know, taking bumps on concrete floors during fight scenes and stuff. And I feel okay. And uh, wiping out my mountain bike. And then it finally, um, this is where everything just started to happen was uh, um, I wiped out my mountain bike when Seamus was up here. And I went, you know, I better go to a doctor <laughs> and just find out exactly where I'm at for everyday life. And that was the goal, just to find out in terms of everyday life, what do I need to avoid? Because I didn't have a checkup from that surgery in 2012 until like 2018. And uh, went and had the checkup and goes, hardware looks good, looks good, everything looks good. And that's where I went, so what about wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> you always want to go back to it. Yeah. Well, because I didn't get to end it the way I wanted to, right? You know, I didn't get to end it on my terms, and I know not everybody does. But if there was that small glimmer of opportunity to possibly do that, then man, you know, I always said I'd be retired by forty, right? Well, I had to retire when I was thirty-seven, so I didn't get that last three years of all the things that I wanted to try and do, which was really just try and teach. I wanted to get the dolls. To Diglers and those guys and get in there with them to really like talk them through some things that they're hearing and experiencing so that they can take it and then give it to the next and to the next and the next. I wanted to be one of those guys Pay it to, forward to try and do that. Right. And um, I don't feel like I ever fully got to do that. So I, I wanted to see if I could come back and finally do that. And, and, um, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> you're back at it edge <laughs> <laughs> so i'm getting that three years now basically is what it boils down to you know now i'm doing it from 46 to like 49 or, or you know whatever it ends up falling age-wise that i didn't get from 37 to 40 i feel strongly that saving money is important you know if it's not something we worry about now boy we are really going to worry about it later and I want to help you get out of debt faster and do it with cheaper monthly payments. I'm talking to you if you're in a 30-year loan. 
now is the time to take years off of your loan. We're routinely helping our listeners cut five, 10, even 15 years off their loan. And you can do this without perfect credit with no money out of pocket. You've just got to start at savewithconrad.com. Now, listen, it wasn't, unfortunately, it wasn't all fun and games edge. When you were in the ring with Kurt, you got hurt in one of the matches with him, right? You speared him from the top rope in the steel cage match, hurt your arm. Was, was that a theme getting hurt with the spear looking back at it? That was my first injury, uh, was that cage match. We had, we had a cage match in Calgary and, uh, man, I was so stoked. I was like, man, Calgary, Kurt and I cage match like mm. this is all the all the pieces are here you know we i think we had a two or three segment match it was you know um yeah, yeah. And, and Heyman had taken over his head writer and he pulled me aside and he said you know i, I want you to be my sting so i knew man I, i'm moving into like a top baby face spot right. here and we're going and man it was just such a fun vicious match right and and you know color the whole nine like it was just it was all there and we get to the finish and the idea was you got these two kind of bulls and they're both just going to charge and whatever happens happens right i'm on the top kurt's in the corner we charge so i hit the spear and it ended up kind of being almost a flying shoulder tackle really but in doing so, I landed directly on my right elbow oh, and that's mm, kind, of, kind, of, shoulder up. Yeah, kind of coming down like a javelin, right? And boom, and it kind of popped and I went, oof, I'd never torn anything to that point, but I knew something was odd. <laughs> so <laughs> you can see me roll over and cover and I'm kind of holding the arm close to me. And then Hogan comes down and we're posing and my arm's going, clack clock every time uh -huh. i'm posing but i'm posing with hulk hogan so i'm gonna grind through you this better be thing. doing it yeah and uh sure enough i tore my labrum and you know nobody's fault it's just one of those things that happens you know i landed in a weird way because i was trying not to land on my head and uh that really started a snowball of things that you know because i never got the labrum fixed i just you know, I, I rehabbed it, I think for six weeks and I came back and then it was, I'm in a battle Royal and I take a bump over and my arm gets caught and it completely dislocates the shoulder. Cause I have no labrum to keep the shoulder in. And in doing so I tear half my pec. I don't get that fixed. So then it just began. Now on that side, I got a fused wrist. I've torn this tricep. So I, I really point back to that first injury and not getting it fixed is it, it what I should have done is said, okay, right. Four to six months. I just got to bite the bullet and do it, but I've just been told I'm going to become the sting of this show. So I, 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 I can't take be, six months off. You don't want to be out with injury. I understand right? that, that and we it, all, we all get like that. We get restless when we're at home. Yeah. Yeah. And it just felt like the absolute worst timing to go get surgery. Right. So but I can pinpoint back to that because, it, you know, and then I'd start to compensate and I bump a little differently and I bump a little higher. And now all of a sudden I'm developing neck issues and it, it just, it really snowballed. Um, and, and when I talk to younger talent now, when they say, Oh, you know, so I got this slight tear. I was like, get it fixed. Just get it fixed. It's not worth what could possibly happen in a snowball effect because you're trying to compensate now. Well, if, if you keep that snowball effect going, you're just going to keep going out with injury. You might yeah. as well get it fixed, get it over with, and get healthy again. Get it done, you know, and, and just, and it's never going to feel the way it did before, but it's going to feel a lot stronger than if you don't get it done. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.